Okay, so this rule is about the product rule. How do we find the derivative of two functions being multiplied by each other? Well, we, so far we have done a constant time a variable, a variable having a power, a variable plus another function or another variable or another constant. We know how to do all these derivatives. But what happens when we have two functions multiplied by each other, just like here? We have 3x squared plus 1 times square root of x. What happens when these two are multiplied? How do we find the derivative? Well, the rule is the derivative of the product of two functions is not the product of the function's derivatives. So when you have two functions multiplied by each other you don't simply just take the first derivative and the second derivative and then just multiply it but actually the rule is the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function so it is the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first so the rule is let's say we have these two functions f of x times g of x if we want to find the derivative it is f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f of prime of x so let me give you an example. Let's say we have this function, h of x equals x plus 1 times the square root of x. We have these two functions. So we can call this one f of x and we can call this one g of x. So first let's find f prime of x and g prime of x. We know that f prime of x plus 1 equals 1 and g prime of square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. So now we know that. Then let's apply the rule of product. If we have two functions and they are multiplied, basically f of x and g of x, the derivative rule is f of x times g prime of x, the first function times the derivative of the second, plus the second function times the derivative of f of x. So what we get is the first function, which is x plus 1, we get it, times the derivative of the second function, so times 1 over 2 square root of x, plus the second function, which is the square root of x, times the derivative of the first function. The derivative of the first function x plus 1 is just 1. So as you can see, this is the rule of product, or this is the derivative rule of product. And at the end, we get square root of x plus x plus 1 over 2 square root of x. This is what we get. We don't basically multiply the first function derivative times the second function derivative. In that case, we would get 1 over 2 square root of x. That is not the rule. The rule is the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first and eventually for these two functions x plus 1 and square root of x we get h prime of x equals square root of x plus x plus 1 over 2 square root of x this is the rule of products let me give you another example let's say f of x equals x squared we know from the power rule basically when you want to find the derivative of this basically you take this one down so it becomes 2x and you take one of the power so it becomes 2x 2 minus 1 is 1 so it becomes 2x let's see if we use the product rule we will get the same result we should get 2x well x squared is x times x so we have this is g of x and this is f of x or vice versa this is f of x and this is g of x we know that f prime of x is 1 and g prime of x is 1 when we do the product rule it is the first function times the derivative of the second so it's x times 1 plus the derivative of the second times the first function so it becomes x times 1 so it is 1 times x plus x times 1 basically you get 2x and we get the same result that we get if we use the power rule because if you use the power rule this becomes 2x when we use the product rule we get the same thing we get 2x so this is about the product rule which is the derivative of the product of two functions is not the product of the functions derivatives rather it is the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function let's check out the next rule